Begin to just start asking one question. Why do I do that? All right. There's a lot of things that you do in your life that you just do because you just do it. What's up? How you doing? Welcome back to a moment of clarity. Yours truly, Aaron Thompson. I'm excited that you're with me, but did you bring three people? Like give this to three people before? Did you bring somebody with you? Did you put the big fella to work for you? All right. Now remember, when we jump on with each other, we know that we believe that clarity breeds confidence and that when we understand who we are, where we are in life, and ultimately where we wanna go, it allows for us to be able to take the next step in confidence on the journey to have sustainable success. That's what we're doing, all right? And so we recently have been talking about why ideas are staying up here and we don't confess them out of our mouths to allow for our power to be operated in, right? And I posted a quote last week by Muhammad Ali where he said that if I can think it and if I can believe it, then I can achieve it, right? That's basically what he's saying. And, and in there is a space of where a lot of us fall out, a lot of us while we don't tell other people, a lot of us that have goals that only reside in our minds that never become the reality that we ultimately live in is because we lack belief. Now, why do we lack belief? We don't just wake up one day as kids and say, I'm not gonna believe. Because guess what? Little kids believe like my parents used to tell me. I believe that my parents could get anything done for us, that we could get all the nice shoes, all the nice clothes. I didn't know about bills and balance and check bucks and past dues and everything else. I didn't know about any of that stuff. All I knew was that my parents could provide and I believed that they could. Now, somewhere along that journey, the belief starts to shift. Or some people would say, <laughs> we, we, we started becoming realistic, all right? So here, here's what I want us to think through. What's driving our belief? Because if your mind, the beauty of the mind that God gave you, the visions, the aspirations, the things in your spirit that you can't let go, those things are being given to you. But the reason why they haven't come from out of here into reality is because there's a disconnect in the belief. And as me and my brother were talking earlier uh, this week, we believe that it's coming to what? Your subconscious is playing out. And in some aspects, your subconscious is taking over. Let's look at it. You see people who seem that every time they think of something, they get to acting on it, and all of a sudden it comes through. It seems like every time that person wins, like DJ Khaled, all I do is win, 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 no matter what, right? There's a, there's a belief that goes from their vision, they believe it, and then they go to work to making that a reality. They have a, a list of successes. They have some things in their mind that's like, yo, you can get this done. But for others, others of us, right, we got the vision, but the belief needs some rewiring. And that rewiring, we got to go dig into what's not easy to do is our subconscious. Our subconscious is, is made up of memories and experiences that have happened to us throughout the years that have shaped why we do certain things. I'll give you one. I'll give you one. I'm from Detroit. I love being from Detroit, but I grew up in Detroit in the crack era, drive-bys, gang violence, right? I remember being on corners, you hear, gut, you hear gunshots and you take cover. Now you take any of us, that have grown up during that time period, and if a car backfires loud enough, we all taking cover, as if a gun went off. And you cannot get us to believe that it's not a gun until the experience is what? Over. So in those spaces, because subconsciously, what happened out of my protection is when you hear, heard th that level of noise, you did what? You took cover. You had to find safety. And because I had to find safety until that moment has gone through and I realize that I'm safe, it's very tough for those of us that grew up in that space, me included, to believe that we're not in danger. It's tough to interrupt that loop, that subconscious loop, because it's doing what? It's driving your behavior. So how do we un start unpacking a little bit? 
and you know, the subconscious. Typically, what you gotta do to start unpacking the subconscious is begin to just start asking one question. Why do I do that? All right, there's a lot of things that you do in your life that you just do because you just do it. Like you, you don't even you don't even know why you do it. You just do it. Maybe it's the way your mom did it, your grandmother did it, your dad did it. Maybe it's because of your church or you know your neighborhood or where you grew up in or your friends. There's something that you just do just because you do it and it's no big deal. And it's a level of unconscious competence where you're navigating this, not even thinking about it. It's just natural for you. And it could be helping you and it could be hurting you. But the question you have to ask yourself is, why do I do that? And if that why you do it is built on something that's not allowing for you to achieve the results that you want to currently in your life, then you have to be willing to change. You gotta be willing to change. If, again, if it's not producing the results that you want to. Now, changing sounds very easy when I, when I say the word out of my mouth, but changing, remember, is hard. Making a change is hard and making a change has to be intentional. So this is what we're talking about. We got these visions here, but we can't begin to speak them out and truly believe what's going on because there's a disconnect in our belief that's driven by our subconscious that does not allow for us to really get in motion or have the motivation to believe that this moment's going to be different. So the question is, why do I do that? Another question is, why do I believe that? Now. I'm not saying to any of you, as I'm talking to myself in this moment, I'm not saying that you don't have experiences that warrant you to believe, to operate and navigate the way that you do. But the question is, remember who you are and where you currently are in your life. Do the rules of the current moment that you're in in your life cause for you to operate by the rules that you currently have? See, if I go back to the drive-by example, if I go back to the gunshot example in Detroit, I don't live in those environments right now. So now I have to be willing to know that I'm present in the moment in a different environment that does not cause for the same rules. But again, if I'm not asking, why do I do that? And why do I believe that? Guess what? I'm always going to have a subconscious response to a loud bang. Yeah, we got to be able to unpack that because here's your greatness. Here's your legacy. It's all in here. It's all in here. And you can't let it go. And you can't let it go because you know it's divine. You know it will change your family's lifestyle. You know it's an answer in the marketplace that needs to be developed. You know how good it is, but there's a disconnect in your belief. There's a disconnect. And the disconnecting your belief is being driven by your subconscious and some experiences and some and some traumas and some environments that you've come out of to be successful to think through these questions, but it's still coming with you that's limiting you to be able to have the life that you want to be able to live. So here's all I want you to start doing. I want you to ask those two questions this week. When you watch and navigate and look at the things that you're doing, why do I do this? And why do I believe this? And that's the beginning of unpacking the subconscious to begin to make intentional decisions on making changes that allow for there to be a connection from your vision here to your belief for it ultimately to start coming out of your mouth, allowing people around you to be able to help you shape it, you develop your team, and you to be able to have the life and the reality that's only resided in your mind, but now be in a place in which you can live and create legacy. Listen, I'm excited. I am super excited about what's getting ready to happen. And I thank you for jumping on a moment of clarity, but do me a favor, pass this on to three people and don't you be selfish. And here's the other thing I want you to be able to do. I want you in the comments, in the comments, just when you start asking yourself those questions, why do I believe this, right? Why do I do this and why do I believe it? Put the answer in the comments. Hit me in my DMs. Hey, hit me on my phone if you got my number, right? And if you need some help kind of unpacking some of this, there's a link right there in the captions that says, click on that link, get on my calendar, let's talk together and let's talk through this. Because we are in a space in which if we can go from vision and connect it to belief, the reality of what we're living will be something that we've never seen before in reality, but only in the thoughts of our minds. 
I'm excited about what's getting ready to happen. And I want to I want to leave you with this as always. Just because you started on this journey to get better, it doesn't mean that you weren't already good. So until next time, I'll see you then.